Today India's 72nd Independence Day. The recently concluded parliament session was one devoted to social justice. The parliament session witnessed the passage of the bill to create an OBC commission on sacrifices of freedom fighters. On behalf of the people of India, I bow to all those great women and men who sacrificed themselves for the nation during the freedom movement. On recent floods in the country, many parts of the nation witnessed a good monsoon but at the same time parts of India have been affected by flooding. My thoughts are with the families of those who lost their lives due to floods in various parts of India. On 100th anniversary of Jallianwala Bam Massacre. Next year on Vaisakhi, it will be the 100th anniversary of the massacre in Jallianwala Ba. I remember the martyrs of the country in this massacre and pay my respects to them. On India's space mission. Today, it is with great pleasure that I inform the people of this country. In 2022, on the occasion of India's 75th Independence Day, India will unfurl the tricolor in the space. On Subramania Bharati vision of India. The great Tamil poet, the exemplary and optimistic Subramania Bharati had said that India will not only rise as a great nation, but will also inspire the others. He had said, India will show the way to the entire world to unshackle the bonds. If we had continued at the same pace at which toilets were being built in 2013, the pace at which electrification was happening in 2013, then it would have taken us decades to complete them. The speed with which the government was progressing in 2013... If we take 2013 as the baseline, you will be surprised at the speed at which the country is progressing. On Pradhan Mantra Janarajyo Abhiyan. Pradhan Mantra Janarajyo Abhiyan will be launched on 25th September this year. It is high time we ensure that the poor of India get access to good quality and affordable health care. On September 25th, on the birth anniversary of Pandit Dende Ilapadi A, Pradhan Mantra Janragaya Yojana will come into shape, the PM added. The health care initiatives of the government of India will have a positive impact on 50 crore Indians. It is essential to ensure that we free the poor of India from the clutches of poverty due to which they cannot afford health care. On India's farming sector, our complete focus is one bridging changes in the agriculture sector and introducing new technology. With a beach sabers attack approach, we are bringing remarkable changes in the agriculture sector. The aim is to double farmer incomes by 2022. The demand for higher MSP was pending for years. From farmers to political parties to agriculture experts, everybody was asking about it but nothing happened. With the blessings of the farmers, the decision on MSP was taken by our government. On progress made in the Indian economy prior to 2014, several of the world's acclaimed organizations and economists used to term India as high-risk economy. They are the same people who are now praising us for our reforms. We are very proud of what we have achieved but at the same time, we also have to look at where we have come from. That is when we will realize the unbelievable strides the nation has taken. From being seen as among the fragile five, India is now the land of reform, perform and transform. We are poised for record economic growth. India's voice is being heard effectively at the world stage. We are integral parts of forums whose doors were earlier closed for us. On women empowerment the practice of triple talaq has caused great injustice among Muslim women. We are trying to end this practice but there are some people who are not wanting it to end. I ensure the Muslim women that I will work to ensure justice is done to them. Women officers commissioned in short service will get opportunity for permanent commission like their male counterparts. I am proud of the fact that three women judges in Supreme Court are delivering justice. Since independence, this is the first cabinet where so many women are a part of the cabinet. On rapes we have to free our society and country from this disgusting mentality of rape. Recently in Madhya Pradesh a rapist was hanged by fast track court. We should spread this news and make people aware. Rule of law is supreme, no one can take law in their hands. On Kashmir we do not follow the path of abuse and bullet. 
We believe in idea of embrace. For J and K, Atalji had promulgated the idea of Ensanayat, Kashmiriyat and Jamariyat. I too say this, every problem of J and K can only be solved by be embracing peace. Our government is committed for the development of all regions and sections of the state. On government policies and schemes. 13 crore Mudra loans, in which 4 crore people took loan for the first time, is a testimony of a changing India. As significant as economic growth, is dignity of the individual. Our schemes such as Ujjwala and Sorbajya Yojana are enhancing the dignity of fellow Indians. Who did not want the GST to be passed, yet it was pending for years. Last year GST became reality. I want to thank the business community for the success of the GST. Due to Swakbharat mission, lakhs of children can lead healthier lives. Even the WHO has praised it. Mahatma Gandhi led the Satyagrahis to freedom. Today, the Swakagrahis have to ensure a Swakbharat. J.I. Hind. Bart Mataki J.